question. How does randomizing actions allow us to go from black or white thinking, I must do this or I don't do this, to taking baby steps towards things that are really valuable and help us succeed more in life? Here's an example. Right now, I hate wearing shades. I hate it. Like I'm a poser, like I'm trying to show off like I'm a superstar. I'm joking. It's actually because they're dull life. These shades are cutting me off from the sun, from nutrients, from joy. They just put a filter on everything. I'm like, why is life so dim? But I'm somehow wearing shades anyway, right? And one way I could do it is by using huge forces of energy, like getting myself to do it. But another is actually that I'm randomizing. Instead of thinking, I'm going to wear shades or I'm not going to wear shades. That's saying 100% of the time, 100% of the time, I'm going to wear shades. 0% of the time, I'm going to wear it. I'm saying, let me randomize with a weight. Do I wear them 50% of the time, 80% of the time, 90% of the time, 20% of the time? But the key thing is that I turn a binary decision, black and white, into what proportion of the time am I going to do this action? I'm experimenting with a particular weight on it. Does that make sense to everyone? So next time there's something you're like reluctant to do or don't want to do, go from like, I do it or not, to a, a weighted randomization. So an experiment where you do weighted randomization, you say, uh, X percent of the time I'm gonna do it. And X can be anything but zero or 100. As long as it's not zero or 100, you're on the right track. It could be 1%, it could be 80%, it's something, right? So right now I'm going to try it for like 90% of the time. And you know, immediately I feel a bit of relief because I'm like, you know what? I'm not committed to wear shades for my entire life for the rest of the time. But I am going to try and do it. And the reason why is because apparently it's really bad for your eyes to not wear shades. So an ophthalmologist told me he would never, ever go outside in summer with the rays we have right now without shades on. It causes macular degeneration, it damages like things in the back of your eye cause issues when you're older, more you get cataracts, particular kinds of like eye cancer. And so, like, you know, that was a big blow because I hate shades, but I'm gonna do it bit by bit. I'm gonna start with like 30%, then 50%, then 60%, then 90%, so it's gonna drop down to like 20%. But, but I think I'm way less likely to give up on it, as long as I do it some percent of the time. So what's your hashtag takeaway from this? What's a hashtag could do differently? What can you do differently? The result of this video. I give you 20 seconds to think about it. I guess one thing I would say is basically next time I'm reluctant to do something or I'm uncertain if I should do it all the time or none of the time, A or B, I'm gonna say not 0%, 100%. Let me do it X percent of the time. Weighted randomization. As long as X percent is not zero, it's not 100, I'm on in a good track. What are things for which you have a feeling you could probably be doing them or it would be beneficial to them, but you just don't do it? Exercising, going a different route from work, other things. Make it easy. Use experimentation to get it easy, to get us to build those habits. What do you take away from this? What's your hashtag could do differently? What can you do differently tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now?